Hey friends, how are we doing this week? I'm so excited that you're here. And our topic this week is something that I think is so important. Um, and that is why it's so important to have a morning routine if you are a busy woman. So some of the things that I have come up with, um, I use it part of my routine. I share it with my friends and my clients. Um, I have eight of them. So it's eight morning routines of successful women um, that successful women use. And um, so if you're busy and you want to start your day off in a good foot, um, I have some eight tips for you on how to do that. So I think the most important thing is we can't hit the snooze button anymore. So when you are hitting the snooze button, it goes off and you hit the snooze, then you're just telling your subconscious that this day you don't want to start it. So instead of hitting the snooze button, I want to encourage you as soon as your alarm goes off, jump out of bed, go get yourself a glass of water, go get yourself your coffee, whatever you need to do. Um, but don't hit that snooze button. When the alarm goes off, get out of bed and get things going. Okay. So that's your first assignment. I want you to wake up early. So waking up early it gives you the extra time that you need. It gives you that extra time to enjoy your coffee, to cook your breakfast, to um, get your exercise in, and you're not rushed. You're not trying to hurry. You have plenty of time to get ready for your day. Um, and it really sets you up to have a good day instead of a chaotic feeling like you're behind the eight ball all day long. So that's my first tip. Make sure that you're getting up early second is be mindful of what's going on in your life. So that could be um, meditation. It could be um, setting aside some time to do some journaling. I really enjoy making sure that I journal each morning and I'm writing down at least three things that I am grateful for. Number three is exercise. So getting your blood pumping in the morning is going to boost your mood, your endorphins, um, and it's going to help you make sure that you are off to a good start. You're feeling energized. You're feeling good about yourself. Um, helps you take on the rest of the day with some ease. Next one is make sure you're eating breakfast. So whether you are making an omelet or you're making yourself a smoothie, make sure there's something good and nutritious in your body in the morning. Um, try to do that uh, sitting down and enjoying it instead of jumping out the door to head off to the office. So that one is number four is make sure you're eating your healthy breakfast. Again, you can find all of these um, tips on um, my freebie that I have made out for you. So you can find those by going to rachelwilliams.us forward slash 88 is where you're going to be able to find all of these. So number five, make sure you set your daily goals and your intentions. What do you want to accomplish today? What's the day going to bring for you? Um, write those things down, what you want to, um, what your responsibilities are for the day, write it in your journal, um, on your phone, create a list of things that you need to get done. Um, and then make sure you are, I think it's important to start your day and not just check into social media. So get up, get your coffee, do your intentions, do your journaling. Then when you're done with that stuff, then you can let the rest of the world in. Prepare for the next day is number six. So prepare for the next day, the night before. So instead of being up all night, trying to work all night, um, make sure that before you go to bed, that you have your clothes ready for the next day, um, that you know where all of your belongings are for the next day, 
meal prep your lunch, pack it, um, stick it in the fridge so you can just grab it on your way out the door to work. Um, and then give yourself some me time to de-stress um, 10 to 20 minutes before in the morning. So before you go to bed, give yourself 10, 10 to 20 minutes to get ready for the day, the next day. And number seven, make your bed. So the reason why everybody's parents told us to make our beds the morning before is because it's a detail that it it's going to pay off. So you've accomplished something. It's your first task that you've accomplished during the day. It gives you um, that sense of I'm checking things off my list already first thing in the morning. And then you know, you can, it deters you from wanting to crawl back in bed. And when you come back, then your room feels nice and clean and tidy. And that helps for a productive day as well. Number eight is make sure you're getting a good night's sleep. So good morning habits are going to start with a good night's sleep, because if you don't go to bed at night, get a good night's sleep then you're going to not be able to wake up early in the morning and get those important things done. So those are my eight tips this week for a good morning routine to set yourself up for success. And as always, if you have any questions or any suggestions for next week's episode, please make sure that you email me or comment here. You can reach me at Rachel at rachelwilliams.us. That is my email. Um, and happy to answer any questions that you have. All right. So until next time, see you later. Stay ravishing, be kind to one another, and make sure you tune in next week for a whole new topic. Thanks again.